Welcome back to the workshop. I'm Ollie, a jack of all trades and a Titanium engineer. You're here at the Fry's Forest Research and Development Workshop where we're working on this 1968 Toyota Stout that we're converting to electric for Celidary with the help of a bunch of amazing people. One of which came by yesterday, uh, Adrian. Thanks very much for your help, Adrian. He's actually machining up the keyway uh, for our three to one gear reduction set uh, that we're doing. So that this has got a couple of low crawling gears to handle the big trailer uh, that it's got to be out of tow, the milking trailer. So yeah, we're working on the adapter plate back here for mounting the motor higher up. Let's get into it. There we go, so you slide up and down like that. motor mounts on this underside, shaft comes through here and these bolts can be tightened to slide the motor up <coughs> which will extend the distance between the two shafts to tension the chain so very pleased with that. Adrian, who's here again, he's just machined up uh, the shaft for our reduction gear set. Just put the shaft in that uh, Adrian's machined and he's got his dial gauge uh, on the shaft here. So we're trying to locate the position of this bearing to have it central and at the moment we can see that we've got a, about 0.4 of a mil variation there so we need to adjust our bearing. And uh, there's another guest hanging out up on the ladder. Say good day, Dave. You haven't met Dave yet. This is my dad. Adrian's just doing up the mount bolts for the whole motor mount assembly onto the engine mounts. And we've just connected the chain. And we're just about to do up this chain tensioner at the top here to get our chain tension just right. So, uh, man, it's getting close, Adrian. Very close. I'm just here with Dave and Adrian, and we're about to spin up the electric motor with the three to one gear reduction that we've uh, just fabricated. Thanks heaps, Adrian, for uh, lending me services of your mill and making that shaft up. We've got the motor in, hopefully take it for a drive. So on your right there, your key, yep, that's the main contactor coming on. Definitely a bit more chain sound.
<laughs> Very controlled. <laughs> Not too bad, is it? Try third. That's not bad, eh? I think it's pretty good. I think the day has come for it to roll out this door and uh, climb on the back of the old 1974 Toyota Dyna and go to Dairy, where it's going to spend the next hopefully 20 years of its life going in and out uh, milking the cows every day. It's been doing that for the last five years and uh, we'll, we'll roll it out the door and we'll have a little look around it together. So having a quick look in the cab of the 68 Toyota Stout before we start to load it onto the truck. Just a few little changes. Just added a little uh, bit of aluminium panel here so that we could just put the BMV uh, somewhere, the battery monitor here, because it was sort of dangling off a zip tie there before. And uh, yeah, our, uh, well, the inverter box is largely the same as it was, but it's all closed up nicely. The Venus GX, Victron Venus GX, bunch of little relays and things on that that uh, triggering a fan when the motor gets hot a little bit of the final wiring it's come up really well and this little LED here is has a little bit dull but it's glowing green when the motor control is happy and we've got a fault lead over here which is off yeah there's a little bit of work to do in the slip on on the back uh, when we get to the farm but for the moment it's ready to go So let's, let's get it up onto the truck. Look at this, it's on the back of the truck. Well, I guess it's time to tie it down and uh, take it to sell a dairy. <laughs> 